Hey everyone, what's up? This is Peter Newton, and today's tutorial is going to be on camera sway. So basically what's happening is the camera has a very nice transition to the character. It's, it isn't stuck on the character and following its exact position. It catches up to it. And that's why there's a sway. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that for yourself. If you've opened the side scroller template, you can simply use my character blueprint. But since I've already done this, I'm going to create another one called Toot Character and do the tutorial on that. And so let's call Event Begin Play. Now we want to spawn Actor from Class. Pick there. Choose Camera Actor. And in order to get the location, we need to pull from the side view camera. And so the reason we're pulling from here is because this camera that we're spawning is going to substitute for this camera. But we want to keep this position so that we know where the camera is currently located. Because anything attached to the blueprint component class in here will actually be a, a child of it, meaning you can't, you can't properly offset it. And so it has to be spawned separate from the blueprint. And so let's get transform. And we want to pick this to here. So let's pick from this and get camera component. And we want to set the aspect ratio. And by default, as set aspect ratio is on, but we want to turn it off. Now you can have this on if you want to, but this simply constrains the picture ratio. Next thing we want to do is get player controller. From here, we're going to do set view target with blend. And this will update the camera. I'm going to pick from here because this is our new camera and set to new target, new view target. And the rest of the settings you can leave alone. So let's scoot this back a little. Now the next thing we want to do is update the camera's location. But we also want to make sure it has that smooth transition as you noticed before. What we have to do is get T interpolation and that's transform interpolation. And that creates that smooth transition to the camera. We have to get camera transform. Pick this to current. And we want to do set actor transform. And you want to target this actor. Now you want to pick this to event. And you want to pick delta time to delta seconds. And in interpolation, this is the speed that it updates the camera's location. So right now I have it at four. And now to create a smooth transition. And now let's pick this to new transform. And that's it. So let's compile. And so what's basically happening here is you're spawning that first camera, you're updating its constraint aspect ratio, because by default it's on, and then you're assigning it to the player's controller. Next is, uh, is doing the event tick, is grabbing the old camera's location, updating the new camera's location, and setting that to the camera actor. So let's now just put a comment box over it. And we'll call this camera sway. Save that out. And let's go to our my game. You want to update our character to the two character, or for you, it might be my character. Save it. Begin play. And you notice the camera sways. And so this is a, a pretty nice effect. 
Now let's go and experiment just for the sake of doing it. Let's put it to one. Or you know what? Let's get, let's, let's get crazy. This guy's drunk or something. I don't know. It's 0.5. It's never going to catch up. It's just like... You know, now that I look at this, I think this would be really interesting for maybe a slow turn or a tank or whatever the game is. It creates a more dramatic effect. And so, please, experiment. Try to come up with new ways to do this. Have fun. I think experimentation is the best way to learn. All right, guys. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching my tutorial. I'll be uploading more every week. So be sure to subscribe and peace.